Indonesia is a big country with a total population of 250 million people. A country of this size with such growth, I think it's good. It too has a young population. The average age is 29. Yang namanya batu bara, yang namanya kelapa sawit, yang namanya minyak di sini adalah tambang di sini adalah tempatnya di Kalimantan. Ya. Our President Jokowi announced the completion of our free trade agreement with Australia. So Indonesia definitely open for business then? Absolutely. We are building a lot of infrastructure now in Indonesia, railway, toll road, power sector. More than half of all consumer goods contain the same ingredient, palm oil. Palm oil should be on the top of the agenda because palm oil is one of our most important exports. Indonesia and Malaysia have agreed to develop a joint standard in oil, on palm oil production in the form of protests against strict requirements from Europe. Indonesia and Malaysia have officially signed a charter to establish the Council of Palm Oil Producing Countries. Palm oil futures have advanced the most in four years. And Rajawali is now in a strong position to boost its downstream palm oil business. The Crude Palm Oil Fund Agency has granted 149 CPO producers with Indonesian Sustainable Palm Oil Certification. The downstream program for the domestic palm oil industry is starting to reap economic rewards. The export value of palm oil and its derivatives will hover between 17.88 to $20.63 billion this year. The Environment and Forestry Minister Siti Nurbaya says peatland will no longer be available for planting and that any burnt land won't be allowed to grow oil palms. Millions of acres of rainforest in Indonesia and Malaysia have been cut and burned to clear the ground for giant palm plantations, driving forest species to the brink of extinction. The head of the Riau chapter of Indonesia's Palm Oil Association, Gulat Medali Emas Manurang, is on trial in the anti-corruption court in South Jakarta. Gulat is accused of bribing the non-active governor of Riau, Anas Maamin, over a land swap deal. We're just off the coast of Spain and six Greenpeace climbers have just boarded the ship behind me, which is carrying dirty palm oil from Indonesia to Europe. The European Parliament has banned the use of palm oil in biofuels. Europe has already been steadily moving away from palm oil in cosmetics and in foods because of environmental concerns. Now, for the first time, a major UK supermarket is banning palm oil in own label products. So with the smoke stretching across the region and more than half a million people sickened, will this year finally be the year Indonesia turns the corner when it comes to balancing its economy and the environment? And despite the campaigns, the summits, the good intentions and the promises, the rate of destruction is increasing, not decreasing, and time is running out.